Rich Greenberg here at AppSec California in lovely Southern California. And we're really privileged to have not just a friend, but the chair of the OWASP Global Board of Directors, Martin Noblach. He is a leader in Europe for OWASP, and uh, welcome aboard. Thank you, Richard. What, so uh, what brought you to AppSec California? Yes, luckily it's the first conference, and it's a great conference here in uh, California. So we have our board meeting here. That's right. The global board met here the first time of, of the year. We have a, new, a few new board members, such as me. Some voters made a mistake, apparently. But um, I'm really pleased to be with this elite bunch of folks. Uh, so what do you got in mind for uh, 2019 for OWASP, Martin? I think in general we have to work on our maturity. Our organization has to be mature, has to be more reliable, consistent in how we do stuff. Guidance and policy that the people know how they can participate, what they are able to do. We don't want to hinder and re uh, reduce them, we want to enable them. So guidance is there to show them what they can do, what can be expected to uh, expect from the foundation, how we can help them. Yeah, I think it's really important that the community knows that we want to, we respect what they've got to say and offer and we encourage people to voice their thoughts, give us ideas, what's important to them, what we're doing right, what we're doing wrong. Um, anything that you feel is you're passionate about that you know we have to improve with OWASP. Yeah, as I always say, OWASP is community driven, staff supported and guided by the board. Uh, what we need to do is more clearance how they can do it, what they are able to do. A lot of people are saying, oh, I want to help, I want to participate, but I don't know how to do it. To be more transparent on our plans, and our plans are based on the ideas of the uh, community. The community has to feed us. There is no hierarchy. It's not that we in the board are above the community. No, we are middle in the community, but they need to feed us the information, what they need to do, what they need to be able to do. So we need then to set the rules and the possibilities, the funding, everything, so they can do it. How do people join OWASP? Join OWASP is very open. Everybody can contribute to OWASP. You don't have to be a member to participate in projects to go up to chapter meetings. I think just in the survey we had, the, the mo most important thing people came back to us is the meetings, the networking, the chapter meetings. Every chapter is obliged to have at least two chapter meetings. Many of them does a monthly base. It's open for everybody, it's for free. You talk about subjects, you meet your peers, you can exchange experience and knowledge. That's the great thing, the community and the exchange of knowledge. Yeah. Yeah, here in Los Angeles, we meet every month, same with Orange County. Uh, which chapter are you with? I'm the chapter leader of the Dutch, the Netherlands chapter. We also have a monthly meetup, Good. and we have a local event we do annually in Belgium, Netherlands and Luxembourg, where we are in Europe refer to as Benelux, Lux, Belgium, Netherlands, Luxembourg. This year it would be in the uh, Netherlands, but as we say, uh, the Upset Global Conference will also be in Amsterdam in September. Oh, so we will have three global conferences, as uh, already announced, and the call for papers, call for training are open for the Ups Global Upset Tel Aviv. We are now also defining the Upset, uh, Global Upset in uh, DC for October, and also then the next one will be the Global Upset in Amsterdam. So you guys have a tough choice. You can go to all three, but get your travel budget ready and get your, your approvals in. Uh, but I think I'm going to hit them all. So I want to thank you, Martin, for sharing with us and joining us here in this lovely weather. And um, we hope to see you guys as part of OWASP. And, you know, we need you. Thank you so much. Thank you, Richard.